Hi everyone, Scott here again. In this video, we're going to be doing another Cisco packet tracer. This is activity 5.3.7.4, titled Router Packet Forwarding. And basically, we start with this pre-configured network, and we're going to take a look first at the routing tables for these three routers. So I'm going to get all three of them opened up so we can look at all of them at once. So there's router 2, this is router 1, and this will be router 0. So we can already see that router 0 here is set up basically to connect these two branches, PCA on this 10.1.2 network, and then router 2 and PCB over on this 192.168 network. So it's already configured to route between these two successfully. Um, router 2 is set up to route from PCB out to router 0. So it's configured to let data out that way. But then if we look at routing table for router 1, we can see that it's not configured for any routing at all. So anything that comes to the router probably isn't going to reach our PC, and our PC is not going to have any real gateway to get out to any other network. And to test that and really take a look at it, we have two pre-created scenarios. And so we'll start with scenario 0, which is going to run us through router 0 and router 2 between PCA and PCB. And we saw that that was configured, so it should route properly. is not routing at all. There we go. Just a little glitch. So we saw that from PCA we went through router two router zero through router two to PCB and then followed the same path back in reverse basically there. So those are configured for communication across these two networks. So then if we come down and we look at our other scenario, this is going to be going from PCA, trying to get through these two routers down to PCC. So let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Remember router 0 was configured and router 1 was not. So we get that error there. run it a second time just to make sure. There we go. So it'll allow it into the network, but then it should have problems coming back out of the network. Because router 1 doesn't know what to do with that packet now. And the same would be true if we tried to create a packet from PCC directly up to PCA. It's going to hit that router, and the router doesn't know where to send it. It doesn't know where to take that packet. So it kind of dies there and doesn't make it out of this network at all. And that's pretty much the purpose of this video, is just taking a look at how those routers will route packet data, as long as they're configured properly. Um, since there's nothing else for this, I will see you in my next video.